radio and TV events and we're here at the Sex Question National Conference. We're here to learn about sex education and why it's important. Positive Identity Service, which is a service based in uh, Leeds in Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we're a national service that work with um, LGBTQ young people. Uh, we also work with schools, colleges and universities and other national organisations to promote inclusivity uh, within schools, making places safe spaces for LGBTQ young people. Well, what we tend to see, you know, when we relate different parts of our identity, things that are important to us, and we relate them into kind of the, the hierarchy of need, is that often they're quite blinked out here. And you know, up here it's you know we've got a huge array of different things. Uh, some of the things we've got there, cats is up here. Oh. Um, you know, dog, you know, dogs and cats, pets and you know, travel, some thoughts and feelings, uh, the values up there as well. Quite often we don't consider that our physiological needs are part of our own identity. Now, if we look at one category of the physiological need, that being sex, um, what we relate back to is our own kind of gender identity, the validation of who we are. That is a, a, a huge importance. It's right down there at the bottom. If a young person's own identity, their gender identity, uh, is not validated, you know, it has huge negative implications as we kind of move up, move up the hierarchy. Uh, work is. It's hugely important because we believe, as Bernard is a children's charity, um, that every young person, every individual in the country has right to be proud of who they are and right to have who they are validated. Um, unfortunately a lot of prejudice and discrimination exists in society, um, LGBTQ young people um, are on the receiving end of a lot of discrimination and we feel that um, through upskilling professionals in particular, providing support services to young people, we can try and remove some of those barriers, um, remove some of that discrimination, ensure that we're in a more inclusive society where um, people are celebrated uh, for being who they are rather than feeling that that's um, something that is not valid. So I guess the first thing is our young people using contraception, and you'll obviously know about this from, from chatting to them. About a third of men say they've had sex without using contraception, and about half of women say they have. And so 95% of people who use contraception when they first had sex say that it was condoms that they use, and this is people between 15 and 18. And condoms are fine. And obviously, you know, we all support them and promote them and they prevent against STIs and, you know, that's fine. Um, but they are not great as a method of protecting you from unplanned pregnancy. I'm Hattie, um, I am one of the two branch coordinators of Sex Fraction Edinburgh. So we're a, a UK-wide charity um, and the charity has lots of different branches at different universities. And basically one of the main things we do is going into local schools and teaching sex and relationships education, um, usually to secondary schools. Um, so we teach about topics like consent, gender, sexuality, um, we teach about porn, we teach about pleasure. Lots of really interesting stuff and we're kind of trying to fill in a gap where schools miss a lot of stuff. In Edinburgh we do lots of other stuff on campus, so we run a regular consent campaign at Big Cheese. Um, we have weekly meetings about interesting topics. We run a sexual health awareness week um, with USA. Um, yeah, we do lots of one-off events as well. So, options. And um, this is to represent abstinence. And this is to represent withdrawal. So withdrawal, a common method, again, not just among young people, among the general population, not particularly effective. The ones that I want to draw your attention to are the IUD or IUS and the implant. And the reason that I want to draw your attention to them is that they're much more effective than other methods. So the implant, which is the one on the left there, it's a subdermal rod. It goes in the skin of your arm there. Um, it's about as big as a matchstick, it's kind of like a bendy matchstick. It lasts for three years, it's the most effective method that we have. It is much more effective than everything else, including sterilization. Um, and whenever I put one in, I always say to people, you have the gold standard of contraception. No one has anything better than you, and that's true. 
In terms of how people can get involved, the best thing to do actually is to like our Facebook page, The Expression Edinburgh, and also to request, request to be part of our Facebook group, The Expression Edinburgh 17 slash 18. And basically um, through that you'll find out lots of updates about what we do, um, and you'll be able to join our mailing list. And it's a really great thing to be involved in, and very friendly. And it's, it's nice because you're actually, um, it's very much based on like, action and actually doing things and really trying to spread that awareness.